Hi, welcome to episode five of my GarageBand tutorials. My name's Adam Cochran, and if you haven't watched my previous videos, uh, just a few things you need to know. This, these GarageBand tutorials are intended for my media software application class. It's offered to sophomores and freshmen as they enter the realm of mass communication so that they know all of the different software programs that they need to know. In the course, we go over Photoshop, we go over um, Illustrator, InDesign, GarageBand, and iMovie. It's just a quick crash course to get the students used to how to used to those uh, specific media software tools. In this particular episode, episode five, we're going to talk about how to import a pre-recorded sound into GarageBand. That pre-recorded sound may be a um, music track. It could be another pre-recorded interview that's been done. Uh, it could be a sound effect. So a lot of different stuff can come in, but it's anything that's been pre-recorded. Uh, we will get to things like in further videos, how to uh, create a software instrument track, how to create a loop track, and also how to mix it all together and adjust the volumes and then export it out as an MP3 or AIF file that can be listened to on any type of device that plays audio files. So let's begin. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, uh, you'll need to know, you'll need to go back and watch them to know how we got to this part. But uh, here we are with an audio track. This is an introduction to myself. The assignment that students are working on is to create a short audio introduction with four tracks. A voice track, a music track, a software instrument track, and a loops track. So that's where we're headed with this particular project. Uh, now we're ready to begin to find the audio track. So we're going to start with a music track and there's a few resources that I give my students for finding music. Again, you don't want to just go out there and grab anything because it may end up on the internet then it would get pulled by you know, YouTube or SoundCloud or whoever may be uh, monitoring it if they try to upload it to the internet. They may also get in trouble with the school for doing so. So we try to find in music that is available in the uh, Creative Commons space or in some other space where they're able to use it. Two of those sources that we go to, uh, one is the Free Music Archive at freemusicarchive.org. Music, free uh, you can check that one out, but sometimes it's a little bit laggy, so we're going to go to something we know we can rely on, and uh, that is to go straight to YouTube. If you go to youtube.com slash audio library slash music, you'll find that there's a lot of music that has been created and distributed by YouTube specifically for videos, and you don't have to uh, acquire permission from any of these artists. However, you should know that some of them require that you do put uh, attribution in with uh, just copying and pasting a link into your video description. Here's some of the videos, sorry, here's some of the music that we have available to us. And uh, there's a lot of different things. You can see that if I pick some of these, I'll go click on this one right here. For example, this one called Carnival Intrigue requires that you copy and paste this line and put it into your video description. We're going to go to this one called New Land by Albus, and I know nothing, know nothing about Albus, but uh, this track fits our uh, video, or excuse me, fits our voiceover fairly easily. So to download it, we're just going to click on the download button. Now, if your students or if you aren't familiar with where things go when you download them uh, on the Mac, a lot of times they will go to a folder called the Downloads folder, which also appears down here on the dock. You should see it there, and there's other places you can almost always find it over here on the left column as well. We're going to download it directly to the desktop, and make sure you note the name if you have a cluttered desktop. We we'll call this New Land, or we could rename it if we wanted to. Now we're just going to come down here and click Save, and it downloads very quickly because we're on a fast internet connection. Now that we've got it downloaded, in my case it appears right here on my desktop, so we're just going to drag it right into wherever we want it. Don't uh, worry about being exact right here. You can just drop it in anywhere and then move it later. Now we've got the track in. At first it shows up as just straight lines, but as soon as it processes, it will show up with the waveforms. And the volume is going to be off. It's going to sound a little bit jumbled. The volume is probably, probably going to be louder on this music track than it is on the voice track, but we're going to fix that in a further episode. 
Right now, let's just take a listen and see what it sounds like. My name's Adam Cochran. I'm an instructor of mass communication at Colorado Mesa University. Okay, and as I just told you, the volume is off, but we're not going to panic about that. We've got it all set. We have the two blended. If I want to move, I can move the track over to make the volume, or excuse me, make the music start later. Uh, so it begins my intro. My name's Adam Cochran. I'm an instructor of mass communication at Colorado Mesa University. Or I could do just the opposite and I can move the music over, grab all of this voiceover, and drag it to a different place in the track. And in which case, my... My name's Adam Cochran. I'm an instructor of mass communication at Colorado Mesa University. Thank you very much for joining this program. So as you can see, the music starts first and then uh, it just fades out. We'll fix the, the track length. We'll do all of that in a further episode. Right now, uh, we've got this all set. That is how you add a pre-recorded track to an existing project. So now we've got two tracks in, our voice track and our sound track with the music. Uh, if you want to edit the music track at all, you just do it the same way you do the voice track. You come down, you click on it double click on it it will bring up the waveform down below and you can make whatever edits you need to there chop it up cut off the ending cut off the beginning whatever you'd like to do so that concludes this if you enjoy this video and you find it helpful i am adding these videos as quickly as i can as i make them uh, so make sure and subscribe to this channel and uh, and watch this playlist because i will be adding more videos as we go thanks